guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are having an amazing day i cannot wait to show you guys what i bought when i was in la something i have been really wanting we're doing a louis vuitton unboxing together Before I get into the haul slash unboxing, I had something that really hit me hard the other day, like a kind of a realization epiphany. Something I have noticed on my channel and also other plus size channels, I don't think society wants fat people to win. And this is nothing new to the fat community, but something I've noticed specifically in terms of like designer items, luxury items, people don't want fat people to have any. <laughs> And it's just really bizarre to me. I like to believe that like I work really hard I earn the things I work for everything I've bought has been for myself I'm really proud of everything I've created for my life. My mom and I grew up very poor um, She's a single mom. We she taught me a really hard work ethic. I started working at 15 like I've just oh, I've always had the hustle in my blood uh, it, It's never just been given to me and I thoroughly believe that if you want to grind and work hard and you like designer things or luxury things whatever you like girl go and get it but something that i find kind of weird in like the social media community and you guys can please let me know this is just like free flowing thought let me know if you've ever noticed this yourself because i'm very curious let me put up a scenario here so let's say we have two youtubers influencers i hate that word but like whatever you want to call it with the same following earning the same money doing the same things but one is fat and one is thin i feel like the thin one could buy designer items or luxury items or anything in that regard and receive really like little to no hate about it but i feel like when a fat person does they just get like bashed <laughs> like it, i don't understand it like i've noticed some of my favorite thinner bloggers and youtubers influencers i don't know what word to use here i'm very inspired by pieces that some people i follow by because i think they're beautiful and i love seeing unboxings and um i think fashion's really beautiful and like louis vuitton is one of my favorite brands and i've always kind of worked my way up and it's something when i was younger that i aspired to be able to earn one day it's always something that i felt like i could earn and work hard for whenever i see some of my favorite thinner influencers with these items like people just ooh and ah and like there's just like no hate about it and then when i do or other plus size people that i've noticed we just get like a lot of hate for it and i don't i don't really get why and i've noticed this with some of my other plus friends in the industry i don't know what to call it youtube world like even when it comes down to like sponsorships i feel like thin people don't really get hate either as much i i don't know it's just like a thought i had i don't know did that resonate at all did that even translate you know like when you have a thought in your brain and you're trying to get it out and you're like did that make sense i've been really really lucky to build up my career it's been it's been a long time coming you guys have seen me go through a lot and i just feel like i've come to like a really good place in life and i'm really really happy with my job and everything that's come along with it and everything's in a really good place and i'm really fortunate to have the following i have you guys i thank god every day like i i can't understand how i was able to buy a house and like able to do really cool things and i, I owe it all to you and i like to think that we are a family and i like to share my experiences because you guys are like a part part of my life you're my family like Oh, I just I just love you guys so much and I want you to know that I am fully aware that sponsorships can be so annoying But I also want you guys to know I turned down so many I need you to know that everything that I use I test first I try first I'm not gonna share anything shady or bad with you I make sure I love the product first and there are so many so many every week that i say no to because i don't believe in the product or i don't believe in the brand like i'm gonna keep it real with you there's just a lot of brands that i really love so when i get to work with them it's so exciting and i'm really lucky and i want you guys to know that i am so blessed and i don't take it for granted at all so uh, the whole like fat thing with money and success i don't know let me know what you guys think about that i really want to hear your opinions um, but enough of my chitter chatter, ranty dupes, Kelly if you're watching, we're gonna get into what I got 
from Louis in LA. Let's take out our beloved boxes here. We have one box, two box, three box. Three is my lucky number. What is your lucky number? So let's go ahead and start off with this big box here. So my boyfriend and I took our first trip to LA. Um, our first trip together, not my first time in LA, but our first trip together was to LA. And one of the quintessential places I wanted to show him was Rodeo. And we thoroughly just went into Louis Vuitton to poke. Mm. It started with some earrings, which we will get to. I've been trying to find these earrings everywhere because I saw them on one of my favorite influencers. Again, don't love that word. <laughs> what do you guys like to call us? And I've been trying to find them everywhere and they sell out so fast when I found them. I was like, eh, the can of worms is open. But <laughs> the first thing here, let's first get into this. I haven't opened these yet because like, and I've had, I've been home for like a week and I haven't opened them yet because I like to do it with you guys. Oh, the sound of that box. All right, so. This is ASMR. That was terrible. I'm so sorry. So first thing we have here is this scarf, which I believe was limited edition from the animal collection, if I'm not mistaken from what you said. I don't own any designer scarves. I think they are so beautiful. I look at them all the time on like The Real Real and Poshmark. I usually buy my designer stuff pre-loved, as the fancy people say, but I never found one on one of those apps um, that tickled my fancy. And then when I saw this one in person, it just like spoke to my whole heart. Uh, I love it so much. You guys know I love wearing white. White is like my favorite color to wear. Um, I feel like it makes me look tan. <laughs> But on, and I'm obsessed with leopard and cheetah print, and it has the classic LV logo and design, little emblem, all over on one side with the white background. And then when you flip it over, we have more animal print with the white pattern on it. And I am just obsessed with this. I think this would look so cute if you throw your hair up in a ponytail and wrap this around. I think it would look so cute as just a headscarf wrapped around like this. Like, I just think it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I want to wear it first, but that's just one way. But I, oh, I just think it's so pretty. The pattern is everything. Like, I also really wanted to wait and buy one of these scarves until it just like really hit me. Biggest thing is with designer purchases, because uh, like seriously forever, it's always been one of the things I aspire to be able to buy. And I'd always just save and save and save and save until I could get my absolute like dream item when my heart explodes when I see it. Cause if you're just getting something to get something or it just doesn't fully spark joy, <laughs> then don't waste your hard earned money on it. Louis is probably my favorite designer brand. I just think the logo is so classic and the pieces are timeless. Um, I love getting neutral pieces from them. They go with everything. So let's get into jewelry now. I love the little boxes. This is exciting. So this, oh, it was upside down. So this is the reason that I essentially opened up a whole can of worms. So one of my favorite um, YouTubers that I follow is Alex Garza. We have the same name. What up, girl? I love her style. I just, I think she is so classic, but also has little like pops of trend and like chic, but she also is just very timeless, classic. I just really love her style. She's definitely one of my style icons. And I feel like we have very similar tastes when it comes to designer items, and just fashion in general, like we're very similar in, in certain things. But the second I saw her wearing these earrings, I'm like, I'm obsessed. If you guys know me, you probably know, gold is my favorite kind of jewelry. I don't have anything silver, gold just like sparks joy. <laughs> but um, I saw her wearing these earrings and my heart was just like, those are everything so gold hoops are my favorite i wear gold hoops almost every single day the ones that i've been wearing recently i got at the coach outlet and they were pretty cheap um but they're kind of like tarnishing because i wear them almost every day like they're rubbing against me or something and they're like the gold is rubbing off and i'm like oh so i want hoops that i can wear every day and another side note thing is with certain designer things I like to spend a little bit more knowing I'll have the piece forever rather than continuously buying um, a more affordable version that I'll have to replace like every six months so you are getting pretty solid quality with certain things so I'm obsessed with these hoops these LV hoops girl when I saw these on you I was just shook I think they are so beautiful they'll go with everything they just match my general aesthetic 
to put them in right now so you guys can see oh i just love so pretty i'm gonna be wearing these literally every day <laughs> Like I said, if you're gonna spend a lot of money on something, make sure it's something you're really gonna love and get get your money's worth out of. And trust me, I know a lot of people think designer stuff is stupid. That's so okay. Like my mom is totally one of those people. Like she just can't fathom spending a certain amount of money on something that you can get for five dollars. So I understand. Uh, everyone's different. Everyone likes different things, and we all just gotta respect that, you know. Oh, they feel so good. I love them. When I saw that they had those in stock, I was like, those. Those, please. And I apologize in advance because you guys are going to see me wearing these way too frequently. So the last item that I got is a necklace. But before I do that, I want to just show you guys the necklaces I've been wearing. I talk about Miranda Fry all the time. They're like my favorite um, high quality but a lower price point jewelry line. I buy from them all the time. And then they started working with me because they saw I'm always buying from them. They're like, do you want to work together? And I'm like, hell yeah. So they just sent me some of their new necklaces. So this little choker has a bunch of stars on it. And then this longer necklace here has a bunch of little gold hearts. See the little heart there? And then this long one here is on a longer chain. It has a lion. I think it was like for strength. Got like a lion i love like a gold emblem and then also this ear cuff is from there i get asked about ear cuffs all the time and then also this bracelet right here the little gold balls i'm obsessed with this and it is fat wrist friendly because i have big wrists so those are the necklaces i've been wearing every day i love layering necklaces i think they're so pretty um they're not super cheap but they're not crazy expensive and they're really good quality like i've worn them in water i've worn them like days in a row they haven't they don't turn your neck green they don't tarnish um, they're really fabulous. So if you're looking for like some really cool like designer looking jewelry pieces that are a lot more affordable Then definitely check out Miranda Fry. I'll link these below and they do give me a coupon code if you guys want a discount It's the code fearless For like whatever you want on there, but their pieces I literally spent my own money on because I saw Alex Garza wearing them and I thought they were so pretty Again, style icon. But uh, if you guys wanna check them out, they'll be linked. So the last item here, like I mentioned, is going to be a necklace. When I saw this, I was just geeking. Like, I wasn't gonna get this. Like, my original intent was to only get these earrings. Then I got a scarf as a present for someone else, and I was like, wait, I like that one for me. Like, that one just sparked joy. I've never watched that show, but everyone talks about joy sparking. Oh, shit! Oh my god, I love this necklace with all the little dangle dupes. It's so freaking pretty. So I'm gonna get up real close here so you can see the little emblem, the little logo. And I also love how right here, it has just a little extra chain coming from this little LV to the little flower logo. Like it's just got enough dangle and uniqueness to it where it adds a little extra funness than just a regular necklace. It also has a little dangle over here as well. So when you put it on, it just looks like really dangly and fun. I'm not even gonna front. Your girl's got a fat neck. Just trying to keep it real. Um, and when I put it on, it's like a choker. So that's a no from me, dog. There's gonna need a necklace extender. Um, I also buy necklace extenders from Miranda Fry. Like sometimes I just buy some because they're really good quality. They don't tarnish or break. Um, and they extend your necklace for your fat neck like me. <laughs> so I can't put that on right now because I need a necklace extender. But I just ordered some more, so. Oh my God. I'm gonna be totally wearing this all the time. It feels like so nice too. Oh, it's just beautiful. When I saw this, I was just like, yes. Cause I don't have, I really don't have any designer jewelry besides my Cartier and that's forever. That was another reason I splurged on those because like <laughs> it's forever, forever, ever. Love this so much. And I can't wait to wear it when I get my extender. <laughs> so that's what I got from Louis. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, I, I don't like doing these because it does feel very flexy and I'm just not that person at all. I like to just wear them. <laughs> but I know some of you guys like to see it. So that's all it is. I just want to share with you because I want to share everything with you because I love you. And I hope you have an amazing day. Remember your worth. Chase your dreams. Be fearless. Step out of your comfort zone. We can do it together if you vogue first. All right, I'm gonna go, bye. <laughs>